Hey, what's up everybody? It looks like Christmas came early because the January 2022 leaks are already here. And man, I'm gonna be really excited for next month. There's gonna be a lot of good zooms, especially if you are looking for some good zooms to play for the missions and also the bingo cards. There's gonna be some good zooms for you to make magic bubbles and make big zooms, long chains, good coin earners. There's gonna be a lot of zooms that we need to talk about. But first, let's talk about the events that we're going to have next month. So the first one, we're going to have Pixar Star Theater, and this is going to run until January the 27th. The way they're going to do this is they're going to split it into two different parts. The first part will allow you to play two different areas starting from January the 3rd. And then part two is going to come where they will allow you to play three additional areas, and that will complete the entire Pixar Star Theater. I suspect that this Pixar Star Theater is going to have a lot of cool animation. Pixar never fails to deliver, so I really am looking forward to next month to see how the graphics look like. And then secondly, we have a Zoom Zoom Scratch event at the end of January. And these Scratch events are always good because they always have some pretty good prizes that will come along with playing the game. You may get coins, you might even be lucky and get a skill ticket. It's, that's pretty rare, but we'll see what the prizes are when they do get released. It seems like there's going to be 15 cards, and it's going to be 3 cards each day. So it'll be interesting to see what the prizes are. Sometimes you get zooms, sometimes you get coins, sometimes you get those little booster tickets. We'll have to see, but regardless, it's free items, so you can't really complain. Okay, on to the next exciting thing. We're going to have another new pair of Zooms, so good luck to your coin count because likely you're going to need it because these pair of Zooms have been really difficult to get. The drop rates are extremely low. But let's start off at the very top. We're going to have Lightning McQueen F-Type. So this is very similar to your regular Lightning McQueen, but in this case, it's going to be blue. And instead of jumping everywhere, this Lightning McQueen will be a diagonal line clear. Next, we have the pair of Zoom, which is Woody and Buzz. So they both have different skills. Woody will create star bombs and then Buzz will clear in the center area. But I'm going to cover that a little bit more after I talk about joy and sadness because we're going to need to do a deeper dive on Woody and Buzz. Next we have Joy. So Joy's ability will clear a V-shaped area of the zooms. And then for sadness, we'll create a random bubbles on the screen essentially. So if you are looking to see what the animations look like for all of these zooms, definitely stay tuned. I will do an in-depth review for all four of these zooms. Once they get released, I will review them one by one and talk a little bit more about them. But let's talk a little bit more about Woody and Buzz right now and let's see how we should be using Woody and Buzz. Because there is a little bit more information on what the animation looks like. When you click on Woody and Buzz on the little exclamation mark on the character selection screen, it's going to bring you to this. Woody is going to make score bubbles appear, and then if you combine it with Buzz, Buzz will essentially clear the center area with his little laser beam. And what you want to do is you want to use Buzz ability after you use Woody to create a super effective ability. So essentially, it's likely that when you do the circle burst of Buzz, if you have Woody's um, magic bubbles in the center, it's going to be a big burst. So I'll show that demonstration once Woody and Buzz is officially released in the game. So I'll show you that a little bit later. All right, next, let's get into the selection box because all of these boxes have something amazing in them. For this first selection box, we have Beanstalk Mickey, Charm Ariel, Brave Goofy, Bo Peep, Jetpack Alien, Mr. Incredible, Arlo, Remy, Simba, Hades, Mad Hatter, and Rex. So my top three in here is going to be Charm Ariel. Charm Ariel is definitely my number one. You have to get Charm Ariel. Charm Ariel is the best bubble maker in the game, so you definitely, definitely need to get her. She's going to make your bubble mission so much easier if you have one copy of Charm Ariel. And if you haven't seen Charm Ariel's ability, definitely check it out in my channel. I, I did a full depth analysis of Charm Ariel, and I really will show you why she is the best bubble maker. So next is Jetpack Alien. Jetpack Alien is a free zoom if you have friends that you've been inviting. But the reason why I like Jetpack Alien is because he's going to make those missions where it requires you to make really long chains extremely easy. So Jetpack Alien is really good for making long chains. And then next we have Brave Goofy. I think Brave Goofy is just one of those brave zooms that are really good to use. So I, out of all 12 of these, I think Brave Goofy is going to be pretty decent for coins. Charm Ariel is going to be the best for bubbles, and Jetpack Alien is going to be great for long chain missions. 
So after that first selection box, we're going to have this first pickup capsule. And in this pickup capsule, there are actually zooms that you want to get. Typically, when it comes to pickup capsule, you don't really care about the zooms. All you really care about is a skill ticket. But in this case, there are three zooms that you really want to get if you want to excel in your zoom zoom game. Number one, you definitely want to get Owl because Owl has the lowest charge of time to activate a skill. I think his charge of time is like six, meaning that if you clear six zooms off the screen, you can activate Owl's ability. It also comes with a magic bubble as well. So what that means is if since his charge of time is so low that you can activate 30 abilities per game, definitely no problem. There's never a mission that's that difficult, but if there was, nah, no problem. You could definitely do that without in one game. Number two, you definitely want to get Patch. Patch is going to be amazing for combo missions because his ability, every single time you activate the ability, there's three little patches that you could tap on. And each of those patches, every time you activate it, will clear about 10 soon. So each ability will get you about 30 clears, but each of those clear counts as one combo. So if you could activate a lot of abilities per game, your combo could definitely go up to like the 400s, definitely no problem. So patch is going to be amazing for combos. And, and actually patch is going to be the best comboer in the game and Owl is going to be the best skill amount in the game. And then Moana is going to be the best score bubble maker. So Moana's ability essentially is, will turn any Moana's on their screen into score bubbles. So if you have those missions that require you to make a score bubble, Moana is perfect for that. So in this pickup capsule, you have three perfectly best zooms in the game for you to get. So you definitely should try to get Moana, Owl, and Patch, even if you can't clear this pickup capsule. This is like, it's really rare for me to recommend you to spend coins in a pickup capsule where you can't guarantee to clear it. But in this case, you definitely should try to get Moana, Owl, and Patch even if you can't clear the pickup capsule. Moving on to the next pickup capsule, and actually between the first pickup capsule and this second pickup capsule, there's actually gonna be another lucky time. So if you are gonna try to get one of the new zooms, you're gonna have an opportunity between the first pickup capsule and this second one. In this second pickup capsule, we have Snow White, or one copy of Snow White, two copies of Scrooge, three copies of Captain Hook, three copies of Sully, three copies of Pocahontas, and three copies of Pleckley. So out of all six of these, I would recommend getting Sully, but because Sully is not a limited zoom, there are actually opportunities for you to just get them using coins or trying to get it in the premium box. Sully is great for our big zoom missions, but in the later box, we're gonna get another zoom that's really good for big zooms. So you might wanna hold off on getting the second pickup capsule if you can't clear it. This second pickup capsule, I would recommend you to clear it if you could get the skill tickets. But out of these six zooms, only Sully is good. So for that reason, I would recommend passing unless you could clear this pickup capsule. On to our second and last selection box for January. The first zoom we have is Ninja Mickey, Sophia, Hakuna Matata Simba, Happy Snow White, Pirate Stitch, Jack Jack, Surprise Elsa, Jasmine, Flower, Boo, Crush, and Finnick. So out of all 12 of these, I definitely recommend you to get Boo. Like I mentioned just before that we're going to get another zoom that's going to be really good for big zoom missions and Boo is perfect for that. Boo's ability, if you could get the blue door, you're going to get a lot of big zooms on the screen, more than what you could get for Sully. So if you are looking for a zoom that can make really big bubbles on the screen or big zooms on the screen, then Boo is a perfect zoom for that. Boo also has two other abilities, so that's why I would say that I recommend Boo over trying to get Sully because Boo is better for three different things. So if you are looking for a zoom that makes really big zooms, then you definitely want to try to get Boo. And then my number two and number three would be Hakuna Matata Simba and also Ninja Mickey. I really like those two zooms because they do earn a decent amount of coins. Hakuna Matata Simba is pretty good for coins, especially for beginners because he's a really easy zoom to use. So if you need an easy zoom to use that will earn you a lot of coins, Hakuna Matata Simba is a good option for that. Ninja Mickey does the same thing. Well, the ability is different, but it earns you a lot of coins. And that's what I mean by doing the same thing, is that he will earn a decent amount of coins as well. You definitely want to at least get one copy of Boo. And if you already have one copy of Boo, you could probably skip this selection box if you already have a good coin earner. 
but definitely try to get Boo because she is one of the best big Sue makers in the game. Alright, and finally we have a third pickup capsule. We typically only get two, but for this month we have a third one. And in this pickup capsule, we have two copies of Beatric Mad Hatter, two copies of Pumbaa, two copies of Vanellope, three copies of Maui, three copies of Dory, and three copies of Woody. So out of these six, nothing really stands out to me except Vanellope. Vanellope was a really hard zoom for me to get personally, so I really like Vanellope. But the other zooms are kind of whatevers. So for this pickup capsule, I definitely recommend you to save your coins unless you have 450,000 coins. Then yeah, definitely get that skill ticket because I think it's worth the coins. But if you cannot clear this third pickup capsule, definitely save your coins. And after this pickup capsule, you're going to get another chance of lucky time. So you might want to just try your chances to see if you could get that pair soon. But this month, there's definitely going to be a lot of exciting zooms as you can tell. A lot of best zooms in the game are going to arrive in January. So I suspect that we're also going to get our one of our best coin earners very soon, just given that so many best zooms have been released. But anyways, here's a snapshot of all the zooms that's going to be released in January. And my top 3 for this month, it's going to be Charm Ariel, Owl, and Patch. And a super honorable mention to Boo as my number 4, and really, like, you should definitely try to get these 4. Charm Ariel, Owl, Patch, and Boo. I think the new zooms are, are nice. We're gonna have to see if they are worth getting. But from the selection box and the pickup capsule, 100% get Charm Ariel, and then get Owl, Boo, and Patch. So again, Charm Ariel is gonna be good for bubbles. Owl is going to be good for maximum skill per game. Patch is going to be good for high combos, and Boo is going to be great for big zooms. So as you can tell, we have a lot of amazing zooms for this month. So you definitely should try to get one of those four if you can. It's really going to help your gameplay if you are relatively new to the game. These four zooms are going to help you get through bingos and also the monthly mission event. So good luck. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you guys found this video helpful in determining which zooms to get in January 2022. And man, you guys better start planning because a lot of coins are going to be spent in January. And as always, if you guys found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.